we have a few, I guess, hopes for what the fund might be able to do. Primarily, it's to support the those those groups, those efforts, those uh, causes for which we have some passion about. Um, and uh, part of what's exciting is that's kind of set. It's going to happen. If we can meet if we can meet our goals. Uh, those those organizations can can. Uh, expect to see regular support, consistent support in perpetuity. That's exciting. Um, I, I think beyond that, though, as a, as a fund grows more, it could offer two things. I think it could uh, create a voice within the community foundation um, that kind of brings in additional ideas. But it might also be a way that we can invite other folks who who are not yet ready to set up their own funds to contribute differently. Right. And so the, there's, uh, I guess, another way is we were invited because we had some proximity to the Community Foundation. And perhaps another another hope for this fund is that we have proximity to folks that don't have proximity to the Community Foundation. And might we be the ones who invite them into this work going forward? There's a lot of reasons why we set up the fund um, with the Community Foundation. For one, um, PLF, we engaged in a strategic planning uh, retreat, and we were really thinking about what do we want to focus on. And growing the fund is really a huge piece of that. Um, and so in growing the fund, I had no idea that this could be a mechanism for doing so. And so we were informed by our partner, uh, Liana Garcia, that this is a way that we could grow the fund. And initially I was really honestly quite terrified because <laughs> it just sounded like a big sort of commitment and it, it sounded like um, just something that I wasn't quite ready for. Uh, but the more we sort of thought about it, I brought it home to my husband and I said, you know, there's this idea. We had to talk about it a few times. Um, but I also hold a philosophy that I don't really like to ask people to do things that I'm not willing to do myself. And so if we're going to set out and um, try to grow the fund with this as one of the ways that we're doing it, then um, I felt strongly that I needed to do this too. What inspires me about PLF is... Um, it's ambitious intention. Uh, so when you look at the, you know, Latine uh, diaspora, uh, it's a big umbrella to try to represent and support. Um, and yet, uh, I, I like to say sometimes people do things because they're called to do it, not because they think they can. Um, and so when I think about the, the idea of, um, trying to represent, trying to kind of amplify a voice, trying to really kind of uh, put resources uh, to work for communities. Uh, that's what PLF set out to do. Um, and I think in, in its history is really kind of may have started more narrowly, but it has expanded as our understanding of, uh, of our community has expanded. Um, th there is something about uh, folks who are passionate taking on work that doesn't seem quite possible, but that they are able to make progress on. So it's like what I thought was possible, you guys have are now kind of stretching the boundaries of what's possible. And so um, I, that's, a, that's exciting. That's inspiring. It, it, it's, it's a call to action in and of itself. It's like, what, what do you, what would you change if, what would you change if you thought you could? Why do you think you can't? Give it a shot. Our thinking was, you know, the more voices you have, the, the richer result you get. Um, and that worked for us. And, and we hope it works for the Community Foundation as well.